I just felt so spunky with these things. I mean, I feel like a deer. everybody doing I hate small talk we don't need to do small talk so I just got off of work actually I got off of work about 40 minutes ago I have driven home and did y'all hear that I got a lot of juice in my mouth apparently so what do we think Y'all, I feel like a young vibrant woman again okay just because of these fancy fellas I have long eyelashes in general. However, the older I get, the harder and more annoying it is to curl them, put mascara on, curl them. My eyelashes are falling out because of all the fancy curling. But I'm going to start wearing falsies and I have cut my getting ready time in half. So I'm OCD. People say OCD. I call it dedicated, but whatever. About being symmetrical or being perfect, if you will. Now, by all means, I know, no, 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 you want more lighting. And I also know that I'm not perfect. However, I try to be, I really strive hard to make sure that everything is perfect on my body, in my body, what I'm doing, what I'm thinking, what people perceive me as. And it's just a fighting battle with you and yourself because you're never going to be perfect ever, especially when you're literally nothing about you is perfect. Now, don't talk to yourself that way. Only I can talk to myself that way. Basically, my motivation today is um, stop trying to be so gosh darn perfect, you know? And stop trying to try to make people perceive you as perfect because they end up not liking you more. Or another thing, if you're like me and you are constantly trying to seek approval from other people and or you feel obligated to make people happy, it just ultimately makes you unhappy because you are focused on them all the time and or you will get used because they will be like, hey, this girl has no self-respect for herself. She will do anything for someone else's approval. Let's get her to do it. I do that. I do. I try to get everybody to like me and if they don't like me and if they're trying to make it a point to show me that they don't like me for whatever reason, don't get me wrong. If somebody is just being mean to me, I'm not like, ooh, like me. Well, I guess I kind of am because there's this one chick that I can just tell she don't like me. Maybe we just have different vibes. We're totally opposite of each other, but she just gives me a feeling that I'm a loser and makes me feel that I'm less than by, I don't know, giving me those vibes, those inferior worthless feeling vibes. I don't know how they do that because ultimately we are in control of our own feelings. Now, with that said, I know that quote is nice and fancy all over social media. You can't allow anybody to make you feel less than what you are without your consent. To some degree, that is kind of true. However, some people just make you feel less than because the way they look at you, the way they act towards you versus around other people, and it's just not a good feeling. And or you see or feel they're talking smack about you, giving you the googly-eyed, dirty looks whenever you walk around them. You know what I'm saying? It, it makes you feel a little less than and you feel a little worthless. Sometimes they just, they pull it out of you. With that said, you are in control of how you respond to that. You are in control of to what extent of where you're going to allow that to go mentally. How far are you going to allow that emotion to linger in your mind and dwindle you down and make you feel inferior and less than, beating you up, telling you you're worthless, convincing yourself that the reason they don't like you is is because you are so pathetic and of course they would think this because you're this 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 and this don't do that because some people are just jerks who cares about them you know don't try to over be nice to them don't try to over exert your energy into people that are just kind of mean and people that are catty and people that want to make you feel like you're a loser and hey if you're a loser be a loser like me cool we can be friends yeah this is going into a whole long spew of 
just crazy analogies and thoughts. Basically, get out of your own head. Some people just might not like you. Maybe your personalities clash. Y'all are so totally opposite. They can't get on the same level with you. Get out of your own head. You are worth something. Put some fancy eyelashes on so you can be equivalent to all the pretty girls that have beautiful makeup on. I just felt so spunky with these things. I mean, I feel like a deer. I really do. For some reason, I feel like a deer. You know that Snapchat filter? Now, that filter is amazing and it's beautiful, but I feel like that deer's eyes. Do you like them? Okay, this is not gonna be a whole video about my eyelashes, but look! It's, it's very, they're very heavy. I'm not gonna lie. So, ladies, uh, I don't know what to tell you. If you're gonna start wearing these things, cool. And warning, they're heavy and your eyes start sticking together when you blink. I was like, hi, I'm Crystal. Can I take your order? Can I start you off with a blue Hooterade? <laughs> Not really, but that's kind of what I felt like. Okay, we'll stop with the eyelashes. I think I really want to be glamorous. So y'all are going to see a whole lot of glamour. No, just kidding. I'm totally not glamorous because I would rather do a strenuous workout than to paint this old face. After you paint this face for 32 years, you just get tired of it and you want a new face. But I kind of feel like I got one now with these. Why is this video always going back to these fancy fellas? I'm just happy about them, okay? My best advice, my best suggestion in life and in this video, if you will, do something that makes you feel good. And money doesn't buy you happiness, I know, but a good pair of lashes totally will. Well, unless you're used to the lashes, I'm sure you're like, girl, that is old news and those don't make me happy anymore. Now guys, you're on your own on this one because lashes might not do it for you. Hey, you might test it out just to make sure, but find something that will. I don't know, put some new shoes on, get you a nice pair of fluffy, cozy socks. Those always work for me. Read a different fancy book. Get off of social media for one. Comparing yourself to others, do something. Run around the block, fix your hair differently. I don't know, put glitter on your eyebrows, do something different. I don't know, but I'm really digging the new me. Actually, I'm just really digging that it took me less time to get ready. And my eyelashes are symmetrical. What? Is that a word? You know what I mean. Both of them look the same. I didn't have to stand in front of the mirror with a toothpick plucking out the extras. I can just put them on my eyelashes and be done. Okay. I'm done with this. I don't know what you learned. Oh! I don't know what you learned in this video. I don't know what I said. Do you YouTubers ever do that? You get caught up in a little rant or you're going strong with this thought and then you forget what you had already said because you're so far down in some other topic that you forget what the original topic was and then whatever whatever we gotta end this now i really hope you did something great for your body day and i really really hope you at least do something that makes you happy don't try to be over perfect and get you a new pair of lashes or do something fabulous that makes you feel beautiful talk to you later now did that all make sense